On August 16, Canadian filmmaker John Grayson and Dr. Tariq Luban were traveling, were traveling through, through Egypt. Egypt on the way to a humanitarian mission in Gaza when they witnessed, they witnessed a, mass a massacre of protesters by the Egyptian forces. Someone called out, Doctor, Doctor. They answered the call for humanitarian assistance. They were subsequently arrested, beaten, and held without charges in Cairo's Torah prison. It's important to remember, this is the treatment that many ordinary Egyptians receive from uh, what is a very abusive security state. And uh, they got swept up with uh, more than 600 other people. As far as we know, our prime minister has yet to call his Egyptian counterpart personally and demand the men's release. Today is day 47 of their detainment, and we're hoping that consular staff and a doctor will be able to visit them today. Tariq and John's story, their treatment, and the length of their detention without trial moved many people around the world to act. Medical care is not a crime. It is our obligation. It's the role of documentary filmmakers to witness. For me, it's important so that others can judge the truth for themselves. What should good people do? Walk away? I answered the call. I answered the call. J'ai répondu à l'appel. Bearing witness is not a crime. When someone is suffering, you step forward and help. We have a duty to act. After 51 days in prison, the Egyptian government surrendered to international pressure and Tariq and John were released. As happy as we are for Tariq and John, the situation for many other international journalists, humanitarians, and activists around the world has not changed. We must protect doctors and journalists working on the front line. They shouldn't be arrested and imprisoned. Humanitarian work must be protected. Continuons à répondre à l'appel. Let's continue to answer the call. Defense of the rights of journalists goes to the heart of defending democratic rights for all of us. Doctors saving lives is not a crime. I answered the call. I answered the call. We answered the call. And in the face of suffering, we will continue to answer the call. The sweetest part about John and Tarek's release is that they can now add their own voices to the call for dignity and human rights for all. To help free us, many people answered the call. But it wasn't a call for us. It wasn't a call for Tarek and John. It was a call for fairness and dignity and human rights. And justice. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Let's, Let's answer, answer the, the call. call.